This is the David Lloyd Tennis School at Intusport.com. In this guide, we'll show you the technique for hitting a topspin forehand. Hitting a forehand with topspin adds variety, while also giving you a better chance of keeping the ball in the court. If you compare it to a basic forehand, topspin makes the ball cross the net at a higher point, drop more quickly, and bounce up sharply at your opponent. Let's start with the grip. It's easier to hit topspin if you have a semi-western grip. To find the semi-western grip, hold the racket with the edge of the frame pointing at the ground and place the base of the V created between your thumb and index finger to the right of the center of the handle. For left-handed players, the V should be the left of center. If you normally hit forehands with an eastern grip, then you'll have to rotate your hand around the handle towards your fingers to find the semi-western grip. The technique for the top spin is very similar to the basic forehand. Start from the ready position with your knees slightly bent and your weight towards the balls of your feet and hold your racket in front of you with your arms slightly extended. In this position, you're ready to move in any direction. Rotate your hips and shoulders away from the incoming ball, making sure your grip is right and taking your racket back and up to about shoulder height at the same time. Extend your other arm to the side to help you rotate your shoulders and move your feet to adjust yourself to the incoming ball. When you're in this position, your weight should be more on your back foot and make sure both your feet are sideways to the incoming ball and about shoulder width apart so that you're well balanced. Drop the racket head so that it's well below the height at which you'll hit the ball. It's easier to do this if you also bend your knees a little. As you swing the racket forwards to hit the ball, Brush the racket head very quickly up the back of the ball in a low to high path so that the racket head moves very quickly and finishes above the contact height of the ball. It's this fast upwards action that puts topspin on the ball. You should aim to make contact with the ball to the side and in front of you, making sure that your weight moves from your back foot to your front foot as you hit the shot. After you've hit the ball, the racket should finish high across your body as it slows down. Then get yourself back into the ready position so that you can move quickly to your opponent's return. So that's the top spin forehand. Let's recap. A semi western grip makes it easier to hit top spin. So if this grip is not your normal forehand grip, you should try to adjust to it. Move from the ready position to get in a good position to contact the ball and rotate your hips and shoulders as you begin to take the racket back. Take your racket back high and then drop below the height of the contact point before swinging quickly forwards and upwards, moving from low to high. Remember that it's this action that generates topspin. Finish the stroke with the racket moving across your body as it slows down and then quickly get back into position near or behind the baseline so that you're ready to play your next shot. So now that you've learned the technique for a topspin forehand, Check out the drills guides to help you practice your new skills. Intersport.com, the home of world-class sports coaching online.